Hi, I'm Corey Angela. We're going to talk about two salad dressings I believe is superior that you can make yourself at home. Very easy, by the way, only like four ingredients for each. So we're going to talk about two, uh, but I'm only going to be making one and that's for a particular reason. So this one here is not the one I'm going to be making, but as you see, I already made it. This one is a honey mustard dressing. A lot of people will like this, but of course it has sugar in it. Not necessarily bad. Of course, it's still homemade. It's not going to have MSG like a lot of uh, modern day processed uh, salad dressings out there, but this has basically a fourth a cup of olive oil, fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar, fourth a cup of mustard, and a fourth a cup of honey. Use raw honey, of course, okay? And so you'll be noticing that we also use apple cider vinegar here and olive oil here, but we're not gonna be using mustard. Of course, that's actually optional if you wanna add it to this one as well. But uh, this one is good. It's a very good dressing. A lot of people like it. But like I said, if you're trying to stay away from sugar, especially if an infection or something going on, especially in the gut microbiome area, which a lot of people do have, you don't have to do the sugar. Um, but it is in the raw honey state, which is really good. So this is optional, okay? Uh, you can choose either or. They're both really good. This is my favorite. Why? No sugar. Not even, you don't even need salt. Not against salt, but... You don't even need salt, uh, so there's, I mean, definitely no MSG in this. And uh, there's no preservatives or anything, of course, I'm making it right in front of you. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna take some olive oil. All right, now what is this dressing? It's a lemon tahini uh, dressing. I kind of made it up myself. Uh, my clients love it. And I'm also sharing this with clients, of course, as a video, which is fantastic to get the word out. Uh, and I have extra olive oil here, but notice that olive oil is organic. Very important oftentimes because olive oil is pretty heavily sprayed usually. All right, a lot of olive oils in the market are sometimes fake. So if you want to use uh, avocado oil, you can ensure that it's more of a real product. But of course, stay away from animals. I don't know how that goes with avocado oil, but uh, avocados by itself are not so great for animals. Uh, so as you see here, I have tahini, okay? Uh, this basically ground sesame uh, paste. That's what it's known for. Very common in Mediterranean diet, uh, which is very common. I'm not saying to follow any diet, of course, but all these different diets, you can say all oh, this is vegan, paleo, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing too. Okay, what we're looking here also at is real food and nutrition. And that's exactly what you're getting here. So as you see, I'm estimating. I'm not even measuring for this one but I'm gonna show you how you can control the, the texture and the taste with this, okay? So I have my little spoon there. Gonna cause a little bit of mess, but that's okay. I'll clean it up later. All right, so then we have apple cider vinegar here. We're gonna pour that in. Okay, as you see, I'm gonna be combining some acids and oils. So clearly the tahini and the olive oil add some really nice healthy fats, which is key, especially in weight loss and weight management. And then you have the lemons here that I'm cutting up here. I'm going to squeeze by hand. I'm not going to buy some pre-made lemon juice. I don't want that. I want the pure enzymes that are in the lemon. I want the full spectrum vitamin C. You know, I want all that in there. In fact, olive oil and lemon make up a great combination to produce bile liquid. Okay, so now you see me winging these ingredients. I want to point something out, right? This might spring at the camera. <laughs> uh, I want to point something out is that the more lemon and the more tahini you might add, the more thick actually it becomes. Something about the lemon, something about the tahini, it gets really thick than you think. So like if you see, I'm gonna stir here. Very watery at first. If I start to get stir a little bit faster, in fact, you can also shake this in like a glass bottle. Typically stay away from plastic since you're dealing with oil, but notice how thick it got. It got so thick that it becomes so hard to even do anything. Like you can't use this dressing. Of course, if you want, you can use that as a dressing, right? maybe combine it with some avocado and you get super creamy uh, salad, which you can still do, but how do we make this more thin? What we're gonna use as a thinning agent is the olive oil and apple cider vinegar. So while these, the lemon and the tahini is thickening agents here, these are more thickening agents. This here is more uh, thinning agents. So we're gonna add more apple cider vinegar and olive oil. Some optional add-ins to this recipe would be turmeric, which I highly recommend as an anti-inflammatory and adding that to your salad or adding it to the dressing, okay? With black pepper, of course, as you should. Garlic and nutritional yeast would be really uh, beneficial as well, and it might contribute to the flavor. If you also don't wanna add more salt, I mean, nutritional yeast will add a good, like savory flavor. So you can definitely mess with this salad dressing a lot with the given ingredients that I'm giving you here. So again, you can add optionally to this, garlic, nutritional yeast, or turmeric, in my preference. 
or salt and black pepper, okay? Notice how it's getting so super creamy. It's, it's almost there, right? So you just mess with it and you see the perfect consistency you want. Everybody likes a different consistency. I like mine slightly tartier. And the reason why is because I'm using a lot of bitter greens like kale and spinach and a lot of other um, greens that most people would consider bitter. And as their palate changes, they might start to like kale as opposed to spinach, for example. So you might notice that when you're transitioning to a more healthy diet. But it's important to note that the ingredients we're using here are all real. Apple cider vinegar is a fantastic, you know, detox agent and talk about cleaning out the body. It's way better than regular vinegar. Make sure you get it with the mother. Very important. Okay. Uh, skin health, everything. If you're talking beauty like my sister does. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, olive oil, again, combined with the lemon makes a perfect bio solution. And then the tahini, it's perfect for a healthy fat as well. In addition to the olive oil. Then let's say you get this and let's say you get the olive oil. So you have all of those healthy fats in. What if you add avocado to your salad? What if you add sardines to your salad? Now you got a whole mixture of healthy fats. What if you even add more nuts and seeds to your salad, okay? You're getting a healthy fat solution here. And obviously you know that's now in the trends for great reason. So you're getting good, nice carbohydrate greens in the salad and a good fat to pair along with it uh, in, in the salad as well. So that's exactly what this serves as. And also this has good amount of fats too, being it just has olive oil, but this is my preferred salad dressing for, I consider it superior to other salad dressings because of no, no sugar, no salt needed at all. And uh, having all these potent ingredients that work really well together. Uh, please, I encourage you to make it at home. Thank you very much for watching. This is Corey Edmund Angelot. Nature is the answer. Thank you. Thank you.